St. Patrick's Day 2017. Today, I have a massive task on my hand. Filming with my gran. So you're looking forward to today, gran? Yes, I am, Jack. As long as the rain stays off. How about you, Paul? Yes. To see my mother dancing. <laughs> Do you get nervous, Grant? No, not really. You're professional in that half. I'm not professional, but I just I don't get uh, nervous. Not professional, but still great. Today I'll be with my Gran, watching her dance and just celebrating a great day with my family. Later on, she'll be dancing on the stage, and literally, I just can't wait but I need to listen to this horrible music first. You like that music, Jack? It's all right. <laughs> what would you like? Uh, West Life. Definitely not West Life. No! Oh, they're my favourite. Can't say I listen to much West Life. Though. <laughs> Can't say I do. Mm. You got any pokes? No, the Dubliners. Dubliners. Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, that's not Irish. <laughs> Rod Stewart? Yeah, not that Irish. <laughs> Beside my grand is my auntie Pauline. St Patrick's Day just wouldn't be the same without Pauline. I don't know how to put this, but without her mm, crap banter and forcing drinks down here, I, I just don't think I'd enjoy St Patrick's Day as much. However, she won't be joining me in town until after two o'clock. That's ages away. So what time do you think you'll be back in town for? You are. What time do you think you'll be back in town? I should be. Maybe just after two. Put it this way, you don't want to see Andrew Clark on the bus. You'd be terrified. We're on our way to my granddad's grave. My granddad passed away in 2010, and ever since then, we celebrated this day in his memory. Like I said, St. Patrick's Day wouldn't be the same without Pauline. It wouldn't be the same without seeing my granddad either. Even though he might not be here physically, he's still always with us. Celebrates the St. Patrick's Day with us every step of the way. Car gin is always the perfect time to find out who you're going to be meeting later on. So we're meeting Katie later. The I don't know, Charlotte, we might meet Charlotte. The My granddad died on the 12th of December 2010. Ever since then, we always visit his grave here at Red Hill Cemetery. My granddad was an Irish boy through and through. He was born in Fox Point, County Mayo in 1935, moving over to England to find work in the early 1960s. Sometimes it's still weird to see my gran alone, but, well, she's not alone really. She always got us. And I think she's doing all right. As you're about to witness, She's very good in front of the camera. Before filming, I gave my gran two rules. One, act natural, and two, don't talk to the camera. You can probably see by now that she broke both of those rules. Holy water, Gran. Uh, <laughs> Hello, It might be 10 o'clock in the morning, but on St. Patrick's Day, it's never too early to have a cheeky Jameson's. Mm. Come on, cheers. 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 Jack? How can I turn down that offer? Come on. <laughs> However, no. holy water. Mm. Might leave that. Is that the wine? Now he's got the water. You know when I say natural when you're talking to the camera? <laughs> I had to point that one out. And 
now, a warning, what you're about to witness isn't a pretty sight. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like Granddad would be proud of you. Yeah, he'd be very proud of you. I don't like it. And then you've got to shake your head. <laughs> I don't like it on a night out and just, I don't enjoy the day. Just have a mouthful and then shake your head and when it's going down. That'll do it now. <laughs> just shake your head. <laughs> you can have some more than I do. Yeah, that's what that's what. As you can probably tell, I'm not a big whiskey fan. I used to do. It's always good when your grand <laughs> gives you advice on how to do it. If you haven't seen already, my grand is a pretty incredible woman. But I just wanted to find out a bit more about how she dances and, I don't know, why she still does it. Yes, we have, uh, we're dancing this afternoon and we practice every Sunday night down at the Irish Centre, which is quite nice. And we usually have about two or three sets. And, uh, what have you been doing? Uh, I'd say 15 years. Yes, it's good exercise. Yes, yeah, but then going to the gym. I, I wouldn't say that. Good saying that. No, we enjoy, we have a good laugh from that, and we've got a nice group that goes. Is there, is there one there today? Yes. Yeah, we've got two sets this afternoon. So we're hoping that everybody will be in top form. So you do you, you dance as usual? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, but I dance with other people as well. We, if we go along, we dance with uh, different ones. Which breaks it up. Come on. You can't say she's not incredible. And now it was time for the main celebration. Down to the square in Nottingham, it's time for the parade. I split up from my grand and just had a look around to what the atmosphere was like. And then I bumped into these crazy people. Funny, brother. I would just like to say we're very proud of our mothers leading the St. Patrick's Day Parade from County Fermanagh. This, I'm Teresa. I'm Helen from Ragnick. And I'm Brenda. <laughs> I'm Kat from Bilbra. <laughs> Bilbra. We're here today to support the Irish and to make this parade the best ever. Second generation Irish. Everyone wants to be Irish today. But have fun, 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 fun. Have a great day, everyone. Fun, 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 fun. Exactly what we want. But maybe not that woman from Bilbra. I then found my granny who was with my cousin Clara and my great auntie and uncle Tommy Bridge and joined the parade. It was amazing to see how many people actually came down to the square for St Patrick's Day. But then I realised it was a Friday, so who doesn't want to go out and have a few drinks? But before I joined him, I thought I'd go and have a chat with the people who led the parade earlier. We have us on filming yet, so I'm going to ask you. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Come on, I don't know. Right. Right, guys, you, were, you led the parade today. How did that feel? It was a lovely, it was a privilege today to be asked to be Chief Marshals. Both of us are from County Fermanagh. Uh, I've been here 59 years and Siobhan has been, been here, here 45. Really? 45 years and 
we're mixed with the Irish all the time. Come on, that's what I was about to say. That's me something else. So, um, so what does St Patrick's Day mean to you then? It means everything. It's a great day. Everybody gets together. That they haven't. You see somebody every year that you don't see. You know, come out English, Irish. Everybody comes Everyone out on St Patrick's Day. Oh, come on, tell me something to say. So that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tell me something to say. Hello girls, what are you doing today? Um, we're going to be dancing St. Dancing Patrick's Day. You are? What are you going to be dancing? Um, I don't know what that you means. Know, we're going to be dancing to everybody yes. dance now. Oh. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. yes. But there was one other thing they wanted to do. Happy St. Patrick's Day! After I'd escaped my fan club, I thought, I fancy a pint. Right, so I'm with Mark in the double decker bus here in the square. Sorry? So we're going to pour a quick pint, but before. So it's St Patrick's Day, how, how is it? Oh, it's been great. A really, really good day. Fantastic, fantastic atmosphere. Everybody's having a good time and loads of people about. It's good. So do you do just St Patrick's Day or do you go all over? No, no, we do all over all over the country. We do um, lots of horse racing, three and eventing, uh, pop concerts. So you not in Cheltenham though? No, 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 unfortunately not because we're here. Yeah, much more important. Yeah, of course. Uh, right, so we're going to pour this pint of Guinness. So I've already got one here. Yeah. So what am I doing? Right, dead easy. Now you you fill it and let it settle for a while. Yeah. When you get to that stage, you just push it backwards, push the push it away from you. That's it, and then just let it come to the top. Oh. Really easy. Nothing I could be a barman, couldn't I? You could. Yeah. I don't absolutely. even need any experience. A, a natural. A natural. Oh. And right to the top. Full measure. There you go. Perfect. And that's yours. That's mine. Anything for a free pint, eh? Anything for a free pint? <laughs> I'll do more of this. <laughs> and on that note. Right, I'm here in the Belt Inn. I'm just going to get a lesson on how to pour a pint of Guinness. I've never done it before. Uh, so what's your name, sorry? I'm Joe. So Joe is going to show me how to do it. So, so, go so what you need, you need a good, a good a proper pint, man. Usually Brandon, but it's that busy today. We've had to go be doing Brandon once. It's all right. Basically, you, you pour, pour a pint relatively quickly and pour the glass on the side pint of your angle. I might have told a little white lie at the start of them, but I tried my pint and I realised, what have I missed? Right, the stage is set. My gran is just about to dance on here. I think it's so amazing that she's still doing it at her age. But she's going to be dancing on this stage in front of this massive crowd. I can't wait. And there we go. All primed and ready. I think she likes an audience. Go Grant!
And there we go. Isn't she incredible? I've had a really good day. I've met some brilliant people. Had a nice couple of pints. And it's all been topped off by my grand dancing. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Paul Curtis who let me have access to the stage and everywhere and organising everything so I could do this documentary. But unfortunately it does conclude, so thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you.